I'm here with Dr. Wayne Poproski, who's a hip and knee specialist at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, practicing at CDH, Central DuPage Hospital, which is now Cadence Health. And I understand, Dr. Poproski, that you're one of the first in the country to, to use a new state-of-the-art technology called radio stereometric analysis, and it's used to monitor implants for hip and knee replacement patients. Can you tell us about this new technique? Yeah, in a nutshell, this is the technique that was used to monitor the progress uh, or lack of progress and success of implants by the Europeans quite a few years ago, specifically the Swedes. And a lot of that was brought over to this country by uh, surgeons who began working at various institutions here in the United States. Um, one of the problems with that, even though it is, is a very good technology, is that it had to be imparted to the implants in order to monitor whether or not an implant was successful or not. That is, whether it was moving, whether it was tilting uh, in a patient who had symptoms. Um, we've taken it to the next level um, by um, using um, the technology provided by Halifax um, so that we can impart tiny beads into the bone. We don't have to um, uh, impart them to the implant so therefore, by injecting these little beads like, buck, like tiny pieces of buckshot um, below or away from the surface of the implant, we're able to then, by use of computerized um, x-ray technology, able to determine whether or not that um, implant has moved even the slightest amount toward where the little bits of buckshot are across the upper part of the tibia and the lower part of the femur. Um, this makes it much easier to test all implants uh, rather than have the manufacturer put these beads in the implants. So that and this advanced technology has really changed the entire parameter and the ability of us to use this on all patients with all implants. What significance does it have for patients? Um, I believe the most important uh, feature or benefit for patients is that when a patient gets, even if it's a tried and true implant, something that we know has a very good track record, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to perform the way it should. A certain percentage of these implants don't work. It's a very tiny percentage, but to that patient, it's a big deal because it's he's that statistic now. So if a patient develops pain six months, a year after when you believe he should be pain free that amount of time after surgery, he now is still having persistent pain. 18 months, two years. You do the x-ray, you do bone scans, all kind of other tests and you say, well, I'm, I'm afraid you'll have to live with this. There's does nothing shows up. Whereas if there is the slightest change, the slightest a settling, a, a crack in the cement, slight shift, even of the utmost uh, tiniest degree, this technology will pick this up and intervention will maybe be able to be done within 18 months so that the patient doesn't have to have this persistent pain, maybe get addicted to narcotics, dependent on all kind of other type of, of, of um, pain modalities, and we can intervene early, change this, maybe do a belt suspenders operation, a little more fixation, um, added a uh, um, different parameter. So now, A, the patient is out of pain early and does not have to be subjected to a major operation three or four years later where the um, um, bone loss occurred because this thing sunk and rubbed more bone away and, and it's just beneficial all around. Thank you so much Dr. Poproski and again he's at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush and this new RSA procedure is being used here at CDH Hospital. And you can learn more about it on our website at rushortho.com. Thanks. Thank you.